<laughs> Back in the kitchen with today's guest co-host, Miss Natalie Bovis, otherwise known as the Liquid Muse. And if you're just turning in, then Nat, you did not know this, but Natalie has just returned from the world's biggest cocktail party in <laughs> where else? New, New Orleans. Orleans. <laughs> now I know some people say New Orleans and some people say New Orleans. Yeah, I don't, I've heard both. I don't know. It's who a, am I to say it's what's a tomato, right tomato tomato about that tomato tomato? Yeah. But you know, for those who don't know about Tales of the Cocktails, let's give them a little brief recap and tell us what your role was in that. Well, Tales of the Cocktail is the world's world's largest cocktail gathering, if you will. Spirits companies, bartenders, mixologists, brand ambassadors from all over the world. Uh, Twenty thousand <laughs> of them show up in New Orleans every July for this thing. Yeah. I host videos down there, so you can look at my website website, theliquidmuse.com. In about a week and a half, we should okay. have them all up. My favorite one, of course, is the red carpet. I get yes. for the Spirited Awards. The Spirited Awards is like our Oscars. Oscars like of the liquor industry. The Oscars of the adult and, beverage department. And I get to department. do the red carpet and interview all these people that I admire that are going into the award ceremony. So and you totally said, fun. and what you said earlier, I thought was really interesting because obviously it's a party. It's a lot of fun. There's no doubt about that. But it's also an education. You yes. learn a lot oh, about gosh, the science, yeah. really, about making the right cocktails, Oh, yeah. Right? There are seminars on everything from, you know, using botanicals to the classic gin and tonic and where where yeah. it was, where it's been, like things that are just very industry specific, yeah. but a lot of consumers enjoy going, so you should come next year. I would love to. Come and on you know, my red carpet and co-host with me. I would love it. <laughs> and you know, the other thing about what you do in your industry is you also have to deal with amazing customer service because you're dealing with people, I mean, often, you know, they joke about it, but it's true. It's almost like a bartender is often like a psychiatrist for oh, people. Oh gosh, yeah. You know, so <laughs> there's a lot of tools of the trade that are important. Now today you're going to make us a special drink. What is it? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna. I thought I'd make the Sazerac because what's it called? The Sazerac. It's Sazerac. a classic cocktail. New Orleans is the only city in America that has its very own signature cocktail. Ooh. So what I'm doing here, I put some absinthe you love into absinthe. this glass. I do, you know, I do, and I'm swirling it around. Okay, and then I'm dumping it. Okay, okay never setting this aside. Oh, just to coat now, the glass? Yeah, just to coat the glass. Okay. No, it's really strong. It's very oh, pungent. Yeah. So, all right, now I'm going to add two ounces of whiskey. The original mm -hmm. Sazerac was made with cognac, and now it's now it's uh, rye whiskey is more common. I'm using Taos Lightning rye whiskey, which is actually made in New Mexico. Nice. I'm doing kind of the Santa Fe Sazerac. Okay, because good. Because I'm using our New Mexico whiskey. I like tying in the state with the signature cocktail of somewhere else. That's kind of a nice way to tie it all. Well, and I really love classic cocktails, and I love bringing a little twist to them. So since yeah. we're on New Mexico style, that's what we're doing. Nicely done. I just added a little <laughs> bit of simple syrup. This is just sugar water. Okay. Just that's all it is? Slightly. And now normally the Sazerac is made with Peychaud's bitters. And I'm sure there are some mixologists out there who are going to shout at me for not using that. But I'm doing the Santa Fe Sazerac, folks. Okay, deal with it. <laughs> We're representing New Mexico today. Okay. So I'm using uh, Bitter End Bitters, which is made in Santa bitter. Fe. Hi, Bill and Laurel. That's bitter End Bitters. Okay, so what are these What are these bitters like? These are, I love the bitters. You know that. They're so aromatic and culinary. They, they, yeah, they have a real culinary focus. I'm putting a few drops of the Bitter End Bitters mm. into this. Doesn't that smell great? Yeah, like a spa. Bitters, I've said this on your show before, bitters to a cocktail is like salt to a soup. Mm. You want to add mm -hmm. just a little bit, punches up the flavor. Yeah. And also, so, I, I always tell you, I like the bitters when I, for settling my stomach, it's a kind of a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. You That's mean like a, a Sunday morning kind of thing? Yes. <laughs> definitely. Okay, you just added some ice. Right, so I've added ice and now I'm stirring this. Now, you know I teach cocktail classes up in Santa Fe yes. once a month. Um, so if anyone wants to go, when's go the next one? Uh, the last Tuesday of every month. So okay. I, I don't remember the date off the top of my head, but okay. Um, so one of the things I talk about is basic mixology: when to shake, when to stir. Mm. If a cocktail is all spirit, you want to stir. So all spirit stir. Yes, and then if it has uh, egg or um, lemon juice, citrus, mm -hmm. then you shake. You shake it a lot. I love all this so education I'm, I'm getting to. This. I know there's so much to know. See, if you so go to Tales to of the Cocktail, you'll learn all this stuff. You guys need to do a <laughs> Cocktail Olympics. Yes, mm -hmm. right. I think that'd so be apropos. This is a strong drink, but I know that you can handle it. Did you want to take a little Should taste? Should I take a little Now, whoosh? normally garnish this with like maybe a lemon twirl. A little piece of lemon is a really beautiful garnish on this. Ooh, ooh. You it's know tasty, I do like whiskey. This is a This is a good, to me, this is like a... Sitting in the study, reading a good book late at night with a fire. That's this because is a you're good. so classy. Oh, yes. <laughs> with a, uh, an ascot. That's what I picture with this drink. I, I want a photo of you doing that. <laughs> okay. All I'm right. going to do it. Don't dare me. Okay. I have something kind of, I brought you okay. a sneak peek of something that's okay. kind what, of near and dear to my heart because okay. we have a little bit of time here. Okay. So I've spent, I'm the co-creator of this organic cocktail in a bottle. It's the first organic cocktail in a bottle to hit store shelves. It's coming out this month called Ohm. Go to ohmcocktails.com. Learn more about it. How do you spell Ohm? 
O M cocktails. O M cocktails. Yes. Okay. And, and this and is yours. I to the, yeah, I, I created. Um, I, I created the original recipes for um, this. Um, it has your name on the back of the bottle. I That's know. huge. I'm gonna bring you guys. It's launching in California, but I, I'm gonna have a few sneak peek bottles for you guys. Can we try? Can and we try it? New Mexico viewer styles can come taste it mm. in Santa Fe. Next time we'll talk about that. Oh, this might be like my it? new favorite drink. So instead of buying a glass of a bottle of wine, buy a bottle of cocktails. And of course, go to theliquidmuse.com, as Natalie said, for any more information. I'll tell you what, this is good stuff, girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you so much. For that. Thanks for having me, A blast, me, as always. And we're not done yet, because Kristen Van Dyke is live from the CBS Buzz Tour. That's coming up next on New Mexico Style. Cheers. Cheers. Here, you take one, I'll okay. take one. Cheers. Clink, clink. <laughs> <laughs>